Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Exciting times in the world of photography and video. You've probably seen it. If you haven't, you're hearing about it here for the first time. The Fuji X-H1. Brand new camera from Fuji. Uh, specifically targeted to be a video contender. It's going to be an awesome photo camera too. But some really cool video features on here and Fuji is really stepping up their video game. This is really, really interesting, um, this offering they've come out with as well as a couple of new Cine lenses to go with it. So they're not fooling around here. They're coming out with Cine lenses in conjunction with the new X-H1. I was just reading the press release and um, got it printed out here because I was going through it. Um, it has... The 24 megapixel APS-C uh, X-Trans CMOS 3 sensor, the uh, X processor Pro imaging processing in it. Um, so we can expect as good, maybe even better, maybe it's a little more tweaked than what we've got in the X-T2, the X-Pro2, the X-T20. Uh, this is the newest, latest, and greatest from Fuji. So as good or better is what I'm saying here. Uh, new to the X-H1, which is really awesome, is the first camera to have in-body image stabilization. This camera has IBIS and uh, this is a first for Fuji. This alone is probably going to prompt some X shooters to move into the X-H1. Frankly, the name's even cooler than the rest of the X bodies. I mean, the X bodies are all pretty cool, but X-H1. If you're a, a Marvel fan, if you're into superhero movies, uh, this sounds better. <laughs> Stupid thing that just popped into my head, but... I like it. I like the name. Um, so yeah, first body to have in-body image stabilization, 5.5 stops of in-body image stabilization. And not only that, a new spring mechanism has been added uh, to reduce micro vibrations caused by the mechanical shutter. When you operate the mechanical shutter, uh, you can get vibration. And this is a new mechanism supposed to eliminate that. So that's, that is awesome from a photographic standpoint. Yet another reason X shooters may want to upgrade to this body. Uh, it's weather resistant, uh, negative uh, 10 degrees Celsius down to, or 14 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, it's got a 25% thicker magnesium alloy than what was in the X-T2. So rougher, tougher, weather resistant body. That is awesome. Dust and water resistant, I should point out. Uh, what else do we have here? Um, viewfinder, extraordinarily smooth with a display time, time lag of 0 0.005 seconds and a frame rate of 100 frames per second. So very smooth, very top of the line, probably one of the most advanced viewfinders, if not the most advanced at the moment. Fuji's really been good at this uh, and, and they're a pleasure to use. Um, it's got a three-directional tilt, three-inch, 1.04 million dot electrostatic touch panel LCD. So, you know, moving right along, keeping current, touch screen, um, three-direction now. Um, and the top LCD, they're saying, um, is similar to the form of the mirrorless uh, medium format, the GFX 50S. So, pretty cool. Uh, you know, that allows you to confirm your shooting stuff right from the top of the camera. Uh, so pretty neat. Uh, new Eterna film simulation mode, ideal for shooting movies. Uh, it's supposed to simulate uh, cinematic film. It's going to create understated colors, they say, and rich shadow tones. So for those of, this, th those of us that are shooting video, that's a really interesting option. I'm looking forward to testing that out. It sounds like it's going to be pretty cool. We've got some other interesting video features. I mean, this, this camera does do 4K. You would expect that. They're already doing 4K in the X-T20, the X-T2. Uh, but this one, this 1080, uh, 120p high-speed video mode for one half, one quarter, one fifth speed slow motion. So that's pretty cool. Um, F-Log SD card recording, which aids, aids in smooth workflow. Um, the 4K shooting, as I mentioned, a 400% dynamic range setting. Some really cool movie settings here. Oh, and uh, 200 Mbps high bit rate uh, for recording. Not to mention a high, uh, high sound quality microphone, a 24-bit, 48 uh, kilohertz, um, and verbal time codes. So lots of really cool, good video stuff here. This is a contender. Um, you know, I've been very impressed with the X-T20 right here. Uh, as, you, as you'll know, this is my one, probably right at the moment, 
I can't say about the X-H1 yet because I don't have it in my hands. But up till now, the X-T20 has been my favorite little Fuji shooter. It's, it gives you the you know 90% of the goodness of all things Fuji at a very good price. Does 4K, does amazing photography. What more could you want? Uh, that's the little 50 F2 on there, and it's an amazing lens too. So we get to, oh, uh, first flicker reduction mode, uh, improved autofocus. Awesome. I mean, Fuji's autofocus has been really good lately. The XC20 is really good. The XC2, really good. Uh, we got a new vertical booster grip. Uh, allows you to add two additional batteries, so longer shooting time for photography. They're saying a uh, number of shots goes up to 900 in normal mode. I think you probably get a lot more than that, depending on what your use of the LCD and whatnot. Um, and then movies, you can go uh, over 30 minutes uh, with all those batteries. So pretty cool. Um, you know, that's that's basically what do we what did I have that counted up to? That was one, two, three, seven. Um, oh, and I forgot to mention Bluetooth version four. So uh, some cameras don't have Bluetooth yet, and that's pretty cool. Fuji is knocking it out of the park. They're uh, giving us great technological advances. They're listening to us as shooters, putting into the camera, refining it what we want from the feedback we're giving them. Uh, and I think that's what keeps them so popular among their fans and their shooters. Um, so, yeah, I mean, the um, all these things add up to a really great camera. And then the price is pretty decent. USD, eighteen ninety nine. Canadian twenty four ninety nine. Uh, if you want it with the grip, um, USD twenty one ninety nine or Canadian twenty seven ninety nine. So, a great offering from Fuji here. There's like what seven points I wanted to point it out that I think make this a camera that a current X shooter is probably going to want to look at upgrading to, or somebody that's not shooting Fuji yet. The draw is getting greater. You know, the pull to the good side of the force. <laughs> To Fuji um, is, is bigger than ever. I mean, Fuji's just continuing to do great things here. I'm really excited, if you can't tell. Um, I'm going to a Fuji event to play with this camera. I think it's on the 27th. Really looking forward to that. I'm going to have some feedback for you after that. I'm going to have my hands on, hands on with the new lenses. Um, and you know what? If I'm lucky, maybe my uh, contact at Fuji will, maybe I'll be coming home with one. I don't know what the waiting list is like. I would love to have some time with this guy. Um, as you can see, I'm excited. Curious to hear what your thoughts are. Are you as excited about the X-H1 as I am? Um, are these points the ones that, you know, you gravitated to when you've looked through this? Is there one that's more important to you here? Uh, is there something you think you would have liked to seen on the X-H1 that you don't think is in there? Um, have I missed something? Let me know in the comments below. Let's discuss the X-H1. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Um, it, you know, is this going to bring you into the Fuji folds? Is it going to make you upgrade? Are you currently still working with an X-T1 um, or an X-Pro, the original? And, and now you're like, okay, it's time to update because of the X-H1? Are you interested to shoot video with this? Let me know. Let's discuss this. I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. Looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say, as always. And uh, stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.